Watch, watch, watch. Watch this. Watch. Hey. Look at her. Look when she smiles like that. She looks. She looks like me. <laughs> you think I'm nuts for thinking that she looks like us? She's our daughter. Yeah. You know, no matter what the judge says, I'm never going to be able to think of her any other way. Okay. From the judge? We're due in court in an hour. I'll make his decision then. One hour? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. Did the judge give you any uh, idea? Well, how did he sound? Was he, um, you know, was he sympathetic? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. He'll, he'll tell us in court. Just checking to see how Holly's mom's feeling today. My lawyer just called. The judge made a decision. I, I have to get down to court. Oh, wow, this is it. This is it, one word, yes or no. And some stranger decides the rest of my life. I, I'm shaking so hard. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to get Hey, it's not a problem. Not a problem. I'll talk to you. She's out right now, so she'll probably stay asleep for like another two hours. She probably won't even know we're gone. I'll go check on her. Okay, thank you. So, you ready? No. Me either. Okay. You know, we should we should call your mom. I think that she would really want to be there. Okay. Gwen, have you heard from the judge? Yeah, he's made his decision. Will and I are on our way to the court right now. Where are you? Oh, uh, I'm getting my nails done. Um, I'll meet you at the hearing, all right? Le uh, honey, everything's going to be all right, I promise. Ms. Ryan, we're yes. ready for your radiation treatment. Oh, um, you know, something really important has come up, and I'm going to have to reschedule. Thank you. Hey, Will. The judge has to rule in our favor, right? I mean, he has to, right? Because I honestly don't know what I'm going to do if he doesn't. I don't know either. But I know one thing. We're always going to have each other. Hi. I, uh, I got your message. Which one? Um... All of them. I'm sorry, I'm juggling a lot right now, so yeah. what can I do for you? Oh, I don't know, Margo. What? I'm, I'm lying here barbecued because of a car bomb, and maybe what you could do is figure out who did it. Or better yet, maybe you could save the taxpayers a bunch of money and go arrest the guy who we both know did this, your brother Craig. The Oakdale PD is investigating his whereabouts. Yeah, okay, so so where does this investigation fit in all the other stuff that you say you're juggling? Because it seems to me that, that tracking down Craig and arresting him is not a priority for you. I am sorry that you're hurt, Paul, and I am very, very sorry that my brother might be involved. But right now, I am dealing with a young boy who is looking at being tried as an adult in a murder case. So, excuse me if I think that's a little bit more important than two grown men arguing over a woman who has made it very clear that she wants nothing to do with either one of them. Hey, Parker. How you doing? Same. Can I make your sandwich? Not hungry. Is Paul okay? He got hurt again? He was badly burned, but he's going to be fine. Oh, I, I want to go see him. Please, will you take me? <clears throat> I, uh, I saw you this morning at Al's diner with that chick. Do you think that's a good idea, parading around like that? Keep your attitude to yourself. I'm calling the shots here, not you. 
Well, she walks in beauty like the night, and she's prompt, too. What more could a man ask? Well, I suspect you will think of something before the day is over. <laughs> They're uh, still getting our table ready in the dining room. I thought we'd start with a little champagne in the lounge. Are you game? Hmm. My mother taught me never to say no to a man offering champagne. Wise woman. Wise daughter. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Hey, Henry, thank you so much for helping keep Kit in town. She really bought your uh, wealthy club owner act, didn't she? Yeah, well, wealthy benefactor is the role I was born to play. <laughs> it's a shame it's not my real life. And, and, uh, enough about Henry. I, I'm glad I could help. Uh, well, Henry, Jack and I were sort of wondering if you would be willing to do just one more performance. Thing is, Henry, just, just keeping Kit in town one more day isn't going to help clear Parker. What we need is for her to confess to killing Sam. Yeah, I, I get that, but I don't know how I could help. I mean, I can't exactly make confessing to murder a, a condition for buying the bar. No, but you could wear a wire. Uh, no, 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 uh, no, 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 Parker. You're appealing to my better instincts, Carly. That's a dirty play, even for you. We need you, Henry. Fine. Fine. I know I'm going to regret this, but let's hear it. How is my performance going to work? And, and please tell me it doesn't involve inciting a cold-blooded murderer to murder again. to say anything, but I just, I want you to know that no matter what happens, Will and I, we just want what's best for Hallie, and that's, that's what this is all about. Yeah. Allison, what are you doing here? Uh, my friends are finding out if they can keep their baby girls, so I wanted to stick close by, more support, you know? Yeah, yeah. How about you? I, I promised to uh, <clears throat> drop some off for Margot, but this place is like a maze. I got turned around three times already. Well, uh, maybe the guard around the corner can help you find the right room. Um, that's okay. Feels like I'm right where I should be. Mmm, <laughs> you are the man. Your lawyers burned through that paperwork so fast, we could close this puppy right now. Just hand me the cashola and I'm out of here. Actually, we've run into a bit of a snag. Uh, your co-owner? I told you, Carly ain't gonna be no trouble. You just buy my share and you're in charge of the joint. Yes, you did tell me that. You did not tell me that your partner was Carly Tenney. So? So, I know Carly and I'm not going into business with her. Okay, hold on. Can we just work something out? Not with Carly involved. No way. Yeah, I, I heard about what happened to Parker. Is he gonna be okay? Oh, right now, I have, I have no idea. Well, he's a good kid. He doesn't deserve this. Nope. No, he doesn't. Nope, he doesn't. And you know what, Margo? I don't deserve this either. I'm sitting here counting seconds until I take my next batch of painkillers. And I don't see what what's going on with Parker has anything to do with you tracking down and arresting your brother for trying to kill me. Well, if we ever do find Craig and he is guilty, I will be the first one to read him his rights and slap the cuffs on him. Lord knows I've done it before. Really? How come then he always seems to get away? You know what? You should really be concentrating on getting off the painkillers and getting on with some semblance of a normal life and stop obsessing about Craig. Just get yourself better. Anything comes up, I'll let you know. Please, Meg, I really want to see Paul. Take me to the hospital. I'm sorry, I can't. Why not? I, uh, your parents, you're a kid. Uh, I'd have to get their permission. Well, if I'm old enough to go to prison, I can go visit Paul. 